All right, back to action with potentially the last game here at the Acer Team Story Cup Season 3 in the match between Complexity Dignitas and Team Acer. In case that you're currently watching this video on YouTube, uh, the last game, the Terran vs. Terran, is missing because it was a pretty big lag festival that we had there. Unfortunately, every now and then my StarCraft 2 client decides that it's time to lag and it's going on and up to the point where I then finally restart the client. The problem is that you only realize that it's happening when you st when you join a game. So I really had to uh, just not upload the VOD because it was absolutely unwatchable. Thanks for all the live viewers that are still uh, a they are still on the stream and uh, stuck that out with me because it was not really pleasant to watch. Now we are back to business with a smooth stream starting to the top of the map with Polar Knight. We have MMA for Team Acer. Currently uh, quite a few kills already under his belt. Doing a really great job against his opponent here, yeah, and well, with another one, he could crown this and go straight into another well, win an, into another win for his team in the team league. That's basically what I wanted to say here. To the bottom of the map, we have Tefal. He's the ace player for the team. Keep in mind that in the Acer Team Story Cup, if you lost four of your players, then you can revive any of the players that already played if you so want as the ace player. And that's exactly what they did earlier on. Tefal lost on Habitation Station against MMA. And uh, now he is giving it another shot on Polar Knight. In the last game, we saw MMA defeat a Terran player with QXC. This is the game where there's no VOD on the channel. And it was a pretty nice move. Well, it was pretty well played by QXC. MMA, in the end, just having the better macro there and getting slight advantages that he was able to carry into the late game. And then with a the late game advantage, just took it. Nice movements also by him. Good drops, making sure that he always was... Trying to contain his opponent, really keeping a low in economy. So just overall, MMA a little bit more solid than QXC in, this, in that series. What we see for now is basically the opening that MMA already used in game number one against Tefl. He goes for the command center first and then adds double barracks behind this, going into a kind of greedy build. With Tefl, you always know what you're up against. You always are in a position where your where Tefl is going into the spawning pool and then into hatch. So right now MMA is just confirming this with an SCV. Probably since he played a Tefl quite a lot of times uh, during his time in, in Europe here, he probably knows exactly what Tefl is doing in terms of the opening. It makes Tefl a very difficult player to cheese against, but it also makes him very predictable, and that is maybe one of the weaknesses that he had. So, looking at the top, we have currently for the Terranal player no gas taken just yet, just with the second barracks completed, and uh, going for the, yeah, going for the double, yeah, the double barracks here right away, of course, as I already mentioned, with the marine production now to make sure that he can at least save the space. The command center is already done. We didn't see any early zerglings that could take down the uh, SCV. Pretty difficult to pull off, especially when your opponent goes into a command center first, that is. And at the bottom of the map, we already have, well, the queen out, but no gas taken just yet. Usually between 5.30 and 6 minutes you see most Zerg players with a uh, very mineral-based opening going into the double gas instead. What we have from Tefl in a lot of Terran versus uh, Zerg, and that's exactly what he also did in the game earlier on Habitation Station, a Roach Hydra push. He loved Roach and Hydra already in the, the old patch, but now that the Hydras are even a little bit stronger, he probably prefers it a bit more. What really was a big problem for him in the last game that they played today was that MMA was going for a double drop in his main base that unfortunately, just to apologize for that again, I did not catch when I was casting the game. So once again, guys, my apologies for that. was a little bit too uh, fixated on the uh, great defense that we saw by MMA there with the siege tanks and just making that work. But of course, that drop in uh, uh, Tefl's main base was basically one of the key moments when Tefl lost his lair and of course could not get a fourth out, could not really transition into anything once that his pressure didn't do as much damage as he was hoping for. Roach and Hydra just scaling very badly into the late game. What you kind of need for them if you really want to make them work is you need support. You need Vipers, for example, for Blinding Clouds and also Abducts against Siege Tanks, and then you can really start to make that happen, and if you have a good economy behind it, pressuring in the mid-game, early mid-game, that is, with uh, the rest, then you can do quite a lot here. I'm not really sure what's happening. Oh my god. he Is he? He's pulling all the SCVs and just runs cross-map. For his opponent, we do not have anything. I'm not quite sure what exactly triggered that. Resources lost is basically nothing. He just goes for 70 Marines and he just YOLOs his SCVs cross map. Alright, I didn't see that coming. I mean, he had two additional barracks, but this is 
He's building roaches right now. Is he able to wall? No! He moves back into the main for a second. And now suddenly the SCVs are in. He doesn't hold at the front. He doesn't hold at all. And suddenly the queen goes down. Doesn't even attack. What is happening here? Not only MMA going for the SCV push and the Marines. But at the same time, Tafel completely... Like, not throwing, but like, the queen walks down, doesn't even attack, there's no block at the front, not even trying to build another structure or anything. Now it's the roaches moving in. For the roaches, he might be able to hold, there are only marines, but the, the rest of the marines is already streaming across the map. We have a little bit of mining going on at the third base to the left side, and he's just kiting away, taking down all of those SCVs. It's 23 against 35 right now. The roaches eventually should be able to push this back if he has the resources to build more, and it looks like he does. Most of the queens are gone. The drones are fighting as well. It's 19 harvesters against 35. And the roaches are at least with a little bit of micro able to hold that in the end. But what the hell did we just see there? I did so not expect that to happen. Like nothing of it. Not the push. Not Tefl realizing it's so late. And not trying to block it with maybe another structure. Or the double queen. Or the third queen just walking down. Dying without even attacking, no kiting, no nothing. But what the hell was that? <laughs> that was, yeah. Resources lost 2,200 against 2,100. MMA now is suddenly with his back to the wall. He has no tech. He has basically like no gas. He has like two refineries here, but he didn't get anything out of those just yet. And Tefl is going into lair tech right now. He currently has the plus one attack upgrade already. He still has that third base. And the harvest account is, of course, still in his favor with a 38 against 25. The double mule is helping here, no doubt about that. But lair tech is on the way. We do not have a we do not have a factory. We do not have tech labs that just now being built. This is well, yeah. That was YOLO mode. MMA was going full YOLO mode on us there. <laughs> uh, yeah, I didn't expect that. Always just like yes, fuck that. And goes cross map with everything that he has. If not for the roaches, he would most likely have won that game. That was the pain train being executed by MMA. But at this point, he's way behind his opponent. Yet yeah, that might be 40 army supply against 34. But we are talking roaches with plus one attack, uh, with speed soon to be done. And I don't see him doing anything with this. There are no upgrades whatsoever for this army. I mean, looking at this, we have 15 against 32. Well, like, oh, overlords! No! Oh, a big supply block right now is exactly what uh, MMA needs. And that supply block is happening. Bam, overlords are gone. And suddenly, after the next round of roaches, there's not going to be anything for quite some time. They're already double marauder. And suddenly, this is looking a lot scarier than it did look a few seconds ago. Well, it was never something where he said, like, yeah, he's easily going to crush this, but I thought he would be able to hold at least. Now he can't really build anything. He's pushing it back regardless, though. At least for now, the Roaches with a plus one are uh, doing a lot of damage here. And as you can see, we still have the Marauders. As soon as he takes the Marauders out, but he doesn't even focus them. He kills the Marines first. The drones are even moving in right now. And this is just MMA losing another attack. Even with the overlords that he was able to take down, the supply block just not really all too significant since ever he was very little supply block. So every time he lost roaches, he could rebuild roaches. Plus two now started, and MMA just going full ham. Full man mode here, finally dropping a factory. This was a bit bomber style, like bomber used to play in the old, old days, or what he sometimes did. And Tearful is just standing there and holds one attack after another. Great play by him so far. A couple of mistakes, like, no doubt about that, but still, he's able to make that work here. And finally pushes the opponent back. Double upgrades for him now. Also restarted the speed on the Roach one, which he cancelled earlier to get a few more units into the game. We have the combat shield now done. There's no third base. He can't believe that there's no third, so he walks actually all the way up to the top right and double checks that there's nothing being built here because he's like, what the hell is happening in this game? Tefl's heart is probably pumping like crazy. Adrenaline is going right now, and he's just watching the minimap and super afraid that there's another like massive army coming his way. Now that he sees that there's no third, he realized that he should have the much better position and the much better army, which is definitely the case, as you can see here. 78 against 32, and double upgrades on the way. Lair is, of course, also done. That's another thing that we currently have for him here. 
But that game, this game is like insane. 61 Marines lost 29 Harvesters against 29 Harvesters. But it's the Roaches that really won the day for him here. Uh, and it's actually true, like, MMA, if you think about it, like, uh, he, usually you only YOLO once, but MMA actually YOLO'd twice. The SCV is in for the first run, and then he got another army and went in once again. So, yeah, usually that doesn't work out this way, so he's quite special in that regard, too. There's the Hydra Den now. A lot later, Hydra Den, 14 minutes into the game. That's not usually what you see in the match, but, yeah, he's <laughs> MMA is making Tearful like so scared that this is definitely happening here. In the end, though, this should be it for MMA. Like, let's be honest here for a second. Tefl is stabilized by now. He has all the tech that he needs. He has the upgrades. He has the economy advantage. He has the creep spread across the map that gives him a little bit of a chance there as well. If MMA wins this game, then I like, yeah, then I don't know what's going on here. I mean, to be quite honest with you, most of the time I didn't because like that was crazy. But still, at the same time, this is. Oh. <laughs> This game is absolutely nuts. There are the Hydras right now. No higher upgrades started just yet. Tefl is probably just trying to calm himself down right now. He's been like, deep breaths, Tefl. Deep breaths, like, sit there. Woosa, woosa. Going all Bad Boys 3 here. Uh, bad Boys 2. But, yeah. At this point in time, it's... Uh, I don't blame him. There comes the drop play of MMA, though. An 80 supply lead for Tefl, but MMA is still the one who's going for the aggression here. Whereas Tefl, does he really have enough and just says, like, okay, wait. I'm going to cross map. I'm going to crush you. Checking again for a third base. He's like, there has to be a third. Like, this game doesn't make sense. But, yeah, here come those Hydras. And he transfuse on the Hydras. In the end, the Marines are going down in flames. But Tefl is super scared still. But yeah, he has range on the way, plus two, two attack, one armor, getting the second armor upgrade now. And well, MMA does he YOLO again for the third time. This time he is at least not getting the SCVs. Yeah, this um, bio is pretty strong against this, but like there's nothing. MMA, this is game. This is game. GG, Tefl takes it. And yeah, it's the 3-4. MMA losing here in the end after Yolo train 1 2 and then with the third one he finally is yielding to his opponent's uh, attack. But Tefl now putting the third point onto the scoreboard for Complexity Dignitas and let's see who Acer sends out next to take down Tefl.